Can you run Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales smoothly on your PC? Today in this video, I'm going to talk about the official system requirement of Miles Morales Plus. Marvel Spider-Man Remaster for PC had some issues. Will all those issues be again seen in Miles Morales? Because Nixon Sophia, the same developer who earlier worked upon Marvel Spider-Man Remaster for PC and they have again worked upon Miles Morales. So what is going to happen? A lot to talk about. This was with Charismatic. Let's get started. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe it. So you can see the Steam page is currently updated with the brand new Miles Morales with the release date of fall 2022 but the most important thing is that the system requirements have been updated the minimum as well as the recommended one which is clearly giving the indication that november or december this year marvel spider-man miles morales would be releasing but let's start with the minimum system requirement for this game and you can see that nixis software have done a great thing and they're and they're considering a lot of gamers why i'm saying that because if you see the operating system is windows 10 64-bit 1909 Processor they have mentioned is Intel Core i3 4, 4th generation or an equivalent AMD. So that is a very great point because of this, a lot of gamers who are having a low end system might be able to play this game. Also an 8 GB RAM, a graphics card of NVIDIA GTX 950 and they have not mentioned 2 GB, 4 GB or 6 GB. So it's a great sign from Nixia Software who are considering a lot of gamers and a DirectX version 12 and a storage space of 75 GB so and also one more point I want to add that if you see the minimum system requirement for this game it looks quite similar with Marvel Spider-Man remaster for PC and Nixia software certainly on the minimum part are considering a lot of gamers now going on to the recommended one if you see it's Windows 10 64 bit a build version of 1909 and Intel Core i5 4th generation and a 3.4 gigahertz on equivalent AMD plus you need a 16 GB RAM graphics card of NVIDIA GTX 1060, uh, 1060 6 GB I think this is really on the highest side because 2 GB 4 GB a lot of gamers might be having but 6 GB I think it's still it's slightly on the highest side a DirectX version 12 a storage space of 75 GB additional note 75 GB SSD space recommended I do not know why that is required but the talking point here is that 6 GB of storage space this would be consider a slight high on the storage space because I myself have a 4 GB of storage space but having a 6 GB is, is certainly on the higher side I think about that but overall if you see the system requirement I think Nixia software have considered a lot of gamers and we should be really happy because uh, Nixia software what they did with Marvel Spider-Man remaster for PC it was amazing the slight issue not talking about not talking about the issues which Marvel Spider-Man remaster for PC had it was having a drop in FPS when the Spider-Man was swinging. Hopefully, in Miles Morales, they would have listened to the feedback and they would have again um, enhanced the experience of the gamers by considering the fact factor that when Spider-Man was swinging, the FPS was getting dropped. I think both the games have, have been made on the same engine. So the slight thing was that the swinging part, there was the FPS drop. So hopefully, they might have considered that. Apart from that, Nixis Software, uh, what they did with Marvel Spider-Man Remaster for PC, a lot of gamers were really happy with the graphics, with the performance. But Miles Morales, I think the expectation will be much more higher. What, what we as a gamer have seen in Marvel Spider-Man Remaster for PC, I think we expect certainly more from Nixis Software, especially the swinging part. I think if that is being handled, I think the game will be fantastic. So this was about Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. I do not think that you need to go for a uh hardware shopping because uh, the minimum is i think nexus software has taken a, a great thing by considering a lot of gamers who might be having a still a low end system and i think definitely they can play this game especially on high end recommended also if you have a 6 gb of storage space you have, if you have 16 gb ram that is fantastic too so they have considered a lot of gamers in general so this was about miles morales let me know in the comment section what you guys think about it see you in the video bye bye take care keep supporting keep loving and always keep gaming